Hello everyone, in here we have the basic rules of integration. Rules number one, integrate one with respect to x and we will obtain x plus c. For the second rule, if we integrate x to the power of n with respect to x. So kindly refers to the right hand side, x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus with the c. So kindly refers to the situation, n cannot be equals to negative 1. Rules number 3, integrate k multiply with the function fx with respect to x and we will obtain k integrate for the function fx with respect to x. Rules number 4. Integrate for the function fx plus minus gx with respect to x. And we can split the situation. Integrate the function fx with respect to x. Plus minus integrate the function gx with respect to x. Plus with the c. Rules number 5. Integrate bracket ax plus b to the power of n with respect to x. Kindly refers to the situation on the right. We have ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. Do remember to differentiate the internal function and divide it by a plus with the c. Kindly take note n must not be equals to negative 1. And for the function, it must be a linear only. In here we have the example. By using the basic rules of integration, determine the situation for a. Integrate 1 over 2 with respect to x. So in here, we have a constant. So meaning that if we integrate 1 over 2, and we will have x over 2 plus c. Kindly refers to b. Integrate x to the power of x with respect to x. And we will have x to the power of 6 plus 1 over 7 plus c. Rewrite the situation. x to the power of 7 over 7 plus c. Kindly refers to question c. So first, modify the situation and we will have integrate 2 multiply with x to the power of negative 3 with respect to x. Then, integrate the situation 2 integrate x to the power of negative 3 with respect to x. Then, 2 multiply with x to the power of negative 3 plus 1 over negative 2 plus c. Simplify the situation and we will have negative x to the power of negative 2 plus c. Rewrite the situation negative 1 over x squared plus c. Next, focus on question d. Modify the situation. Integrate x to the power of 1 over 2 with respect to x x power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 over 2 plus c. Simplify the situation. We have x to the power of 3 over 2 multiply with 2 over 3 plus c. So here we are. And thanks for watching.